Pendleton Woolen Mills, Virgin Wool Blankets, Fabrics, Indian Inspired Robes, and Shirts, men wear, Men's Wear, Women's Wear. What do you think, guys? We're excited? Yeah. So this is a commercial wool factory. A wool saddle blanket is a good thing to have. It wicks moisture away from the horse's back. Mohair is really good for cinches because it's much stronger and won't give. Wool wouldn't necessarily be as good for a cinch. Unless it was really, um, unless it had some other kind of material in it because wool will stretch when wet, where mohair won't. There they are, there's the factory. It's a lot of yarn. There you can see one of the blankets being woven in the back. It's woven by machine instead of by hand. So this sweater is 239. It's not hand knit, it's machine knit. It's nice and heavy and it is not scratchy. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so for an actual wool overshirt, it's $125. So, these are not terribly scratchy. The way that they're made is very um, professional. I don't know which kind of wool it's from. It doesn't say what breed it is. So it would probably be a mix. A lot of times there's a wool co-op in any given area and all the meat breeds and everything else, all the wool goes together and is used um, without regard for what kind of shape it came from. It's just kind of a conglomerate. So, there we go. Safely. A beautiful view from the freeway. Hey guys, we are in Portland and we have got here so much faster than we would have in the RV. It's kind of exhilarating um, and I don't think we're as sore as we were in the RV. It's just a different way to travel, but we are just coming up on the city center, which is super fun, and we are trying to find something called the Street of Dreams that is a little kind of an eco village example. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find it, but we're trying. Are they rombulae? What are they? These are half cormo. Um, the, the color has come from a tardy and ram. I had a couple colored Shetlands for a while. Now this is a sawdust bin, and on the table we have three polywogs, which is the maximum I can cut out on this machine. The machine down in California will cut out four of them at a time. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> so that was actually the very first change that we ever made was to the spinning wheel once we actually started making them, was to make this adjustable. And we try to do that on everything. We try to make it uh, as adjustable as we possibly can. Is it? That's cool. So, and they're replaceable. Yeah. So this is so this can... is an experimental world. And this is where we do the shipping. My wife is the shipper. <gasps> Are you freehanding? Who also freehands it. Can I, can I, can I record it? That is beautiful. Thank you. Of course, you have to have a long arm 
quilting machine. Right. <laughs> in which this she is her, This is her studio. The, right, the right, studio right, formerly known as Now she's yours. got a little spot right there. I'm, you I'm may over, have a corner. I'm overtaking yeah. the rest of it. <laughs> This is an Echo. It looks smaller than a than a Mach three. That's the Echo. That is the echo. that is the the newest version of the Echo. Did it? Did you offer a four ounce flyer in the Echo before? No, that yes. You did. That was the standard flyer. It oh, is okay. the standard flyer. We and the largest an the the largest that the Echo will hold is a sixteen ounce flyer, correct? Yeah, that's this bobbin. Which I think I do traditional wheels. That's the that's the biggest bobbin I could possibly use. Oh. What's wrong with this one? Well, if I filled it with sock yarn, I'd want to shoot myself. Uh huh. Yeah. Or lace weight. How about that? Right. That would be horrible. Oh yeah. I, I dare anybody to take a a band off of their and, and just it, have it go and let it do that. Right. right. Yeah. The old ones don't. So <laughs> it has an exceptionally low drag on right. on the system. And and is this a one of your bees? That's a queen bee. Oh, could I try to spin that before oh, we leave? Sure. Cuz that's the next one that I have my eye on. Oh, well in that case, give it a shot. The queen bee. Okay. This is an older version of the queen bee. Okay. And so basically, then it opens up. Whoa. So you got your lazy cake built in. I could fit that in the RV. Mm -hmm. Did you see how small it folded down? It, it's 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 carry on luggage on an airplane. Really? So that was the whole reason for design it. I've been because it folds up so tiny. Holy cow! Is that a monster? It is. It's bigger than the spinning wheel itself, just about. <laughs> so that's your firefly. Yeah, that's a firefly. Well, and I see people that like like Ashley Martino. She loves this thing, and she's so big into the art yarn and everything. This is, and she this just is for swears somebody by that it. Is really not so art yarn. Stuff. Yeah. This this goes into that. Okay. That crazy quadrant. <laughs> Since having the spin, having the the hopper, before when I was trying to do art yarns on a traditional wheel, you just can't. The bobbins are too small. And you don't have enough force to turn things, and it fills your bobbin up. Did I mention the bobbins are too small? You know? <laughs> Basically, no matter what you have, any flyer that we build will go onto the Firefly. It's just a matter. The only thing is, this particular head is a little taller than any of the other ones because we just needed so much more room. It's yeah. like from, I have a friend that charges hers from her car battery when it's running, charges the battery, and then uses it without being plugged in, correct? Yeah. Quick. What a monster. Yeah. That so actually that, looks really intimidating. That turns that 64 ounce wheel. Beautiful. So that's, and then you've got, you know, an on off switch. You could plug in your foot switch. So you basically have a foot switch. Oh. So that's how that that's works. Simple. Is I love that magnet. Right, click. You can you can hear it. It sounds so cool. So it's quite the snap. Yeah. So when you close it, you put the 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 the, the cape rods away. So when it closes down, now the cape rods are entrapped. They can't come out. I don't care what you do. They're not coming out. <laughs> that is always a would possibility. They really, I, you can imagine them just saying that, but they'll let me take my bamboo knitting needles on, which are very sharp. Really? Yeah. That figures. Can you believe? Yeah. Can I do it? Yeah. I can't tell you how excited I would be because okay. I've been drilling over it for so long. Is this one okay to sure. use? It finally got warm. Yes. It's really smooth. That's, yeah. that's a lot better. Yeah. Well, I, on none of the other wheels have I felt like I had um, any reason to use the brake, but this one, you can really get a lot of twist into that. A beautiful artistic complexity. Yeah. So.
Uh, they are machines. Yes. I, I've never had a, any type of gearhead that ever walks around with their wife and they start looking at the spinning wheels. They will actually show more interest in the spinning wheels John than the ladies. John has done that. We get it back and he's like, well, let me tinker with them. Do not touch my spinning wheel. But it is, it is I would I consider the ultimate in a travel wheel. Yeah, it's um, pretty amazing. Any of the prepared difference. fiber is the the yeah. more enjoyable yeah. the spinning is. If you teach someone how to spin, you teach them how to prepare their wool first. You don't just introduce them to the spinning wheel, you introduce them to the fiber. This yep. is how you need to open it. This is how you need to do it. You need to understand the fiber before you can use it. So the, the better... Which I find the polywog is interesting because so if we take a polywog and we put it up against... That's a lot lower. Yeah, it is. It's really mm -hmm. good for kids. My kids do really well on it. I do well on it for about an hour, mm -hmm. but my toes start to get a little bit fatigued. I want to spin it so much faster that I get impatient. Mm -hmm. And then I start to get like cramps in my feet and everything because I'm spinning on it too fast. And of course, we should never have these sticking up. I know, right? I remind that every time I walk past one of my um, lazy kates, I'm like, take it out, take it out. All it takes that's, is a kid that's, to trip. That's, I think that's a safety hazard. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we pretty much have all the hatches battened down, the ravine's ready, our fruit is ready and secure. The sinks work really well to hold things that might be rolling around the cabin. Um, that goes there. This is a container of hard-boiled eggs that don't need to be refrigerated for a bit, but I'm going to take the lid off because it, it's better if you don't have them in an airtight container if you don't have them refrigerated. Girls drinking, wet wipes readily available to wash hands off, a little solar light is charging everything everything seems to be good tina is as happy as a lark so i like to keep her water in this lid because it's flat and it doesn't make a mess daddy can you open up the side door and i can get her out here drivers here and present we've got little girls that we have been having run laps in the parking lot and also just around the rv which we're trying really hard not to let the girls in the RV unless we're sitting to do school. But anytime we're stopped, we're having them get out and move and, and wiggle and jump and run. And come tell me how happy you are about it, honey. I'm how? not very happy because I have a kink in my leg. I have my back's not feeling good and my ankles hurt. So next time, maybe we should have you walk. Would that work better? Kaya, come tell me about it. Tell me all about it. cheated. We were supposed to go to at running laps and then go there. Sure but Paige didn't go there. She went straight back, and that's cheating. Okay, so why are we having you come out and either walk laps or run laps? No, why? Yes, she's that very way, energetic. That way, that why? So why are we telling you that we want you to do this? That way we don't have any energy. But I'm not the one with the energy. What? But isn't it so you don't get bored in the RV? So that we look at me. Aren't we trying to make it more entertaining for you in the RV and save our special stuff for when we're traveling? That's what we're trying to do, huh? Am I incorrect? Is that what we're trying no, to that's do? That's exactly what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make sure that they aren't. Okay, hop up, squirt. Yep, it makes mom and dad cranky when the kids get cranky, huh? Everybody ready? So. We are going to sit down and we're going to do school first and then the girls can do their school, their coloring. 
because we're trying to give them more routine and if they have to do schoolwork first then it means there's less time for them to get bored right i don't want to do school right kaya <sighs> off we go i'm bored with you so kaya has finished her school and i have given her a fun task to do that does not interrupt her sister at all i would like to read them a book but until Paige is done with school, I'm not going to do that because it will give her an excuse to say that she has a reason not to be doing her school.